Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now I'm continuing the problems on financial statement analysis. Already five main problems and four short problems I have completed on making the comparative statement, common size statement and trend analysis. This is the last video where I'm going to explain you about the common size statement. Next video will start the next topic comparative statement. Already you know in common size statement we take one of the item as base. In income statement we take a revenue from operations as the base and that will be taken as 100%. All other values will be calculated as a percentage of base. Similarly in case of common size balance sheet the total of assets will be taken as base 100%. Express all other items as a percentage of the total assets that we have seen in the last so many videos. So my suggestion if you are genuinely interested, if you want the complete command on the subject, watch the video till the end, don't skip in between, don't join in between and watch the first video where I have explained you the meaning of the term financial statements, then what are the methods of analyzing the financial statements, what are the techniques available, how to make comparative common size trend, all these things I have explained. If you have not watched, go to the first playlist of the channel. Select the subject financial decision making. In that subject, you will find the videos of financial statement analysis. Watch the first video, be thorough on the concept, then you come to the problem. Now, before starting the problem, sixth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the solution of sixth and seventh problem, then I'll explain. Now, see the sixth problem. The following are the balance sheets of ABC Limited. So, two balance sheets are given 31st December 1990 and 31st December 1991, rupees and lakhs. Equity capital, reserves and surplus, sundry credits, bills payable, other current liabilities. By mistake, it is given that other current assets make it other current liabilities, then total liabilities. Then land and building, plan and machinery, other fixed assets, bills receivable, other current assets, total assets. You are required to prepare common size statement and comment. See, making the common size statement is very easy. How to make the calculations is very easy. But the only thing is interpretation. So my suggestion, give more concentration, more focus on how to give the interpretation. You can write in your own words, but you must know how you have to relate the items for giving the interpretation. Now, first of all, in this problem, two years data is given 1990-1991. ABC Limited common size balance sheet as on 31st December 1990 and 91. Amount percentage, amount percentage. This is the format already we have done. Now we have to make the format which will be suitable for analysis. The format is equity and liabilities. Under that, shareholders fund. Under that, share capital and reserves service. Two items will come. Then long-term liabilities, if long-term loan or debentures are there, that would have been taken under long-term liabilities, but we don't have. Put a dash. Then current liability, we are given sundry credits, bills payable, other current liabilities. In this way, the total of equity and liabilities will divide into three categories. First one, shareholders fund. Second, long-term liabilities. And third one, current liabilities, the total. Now, asset side will be divided into two categories, non-current assets and current assets. Under non-current assets, we take the fixed assets like land building, plan and machinery, other fixed assets. Current assets, we are having only two items, bills receivable and other current assets. Now, we take all the values which are given in the problem in amount column. You should not write anything in percentage. Afterwards, we write down. First of all, whatever information is given in the problem, put it in this format and take the respective amounts for last year and current year. That's it. The next step is finding out the percentages. This is a balance sheet problem. So we take the total assets as base, the total assets and total liabilities. So 1990, the total liabilities is 265. 
and the total assets is also 265. Make it as base 100 percent. So this 265 is 100 percent, right? That we have to assign. After that, we have to make the calculations, individual percentages. So how to calculate equity capital is 140. So 140 divided by 265 into 100. Denominator should be 265 for all the items and numerator should be these amounts. So 140 by 265 into 100, 52.83. 40 divided by 265 into 100, 15.09. 30 divided by 265 into 100, 11.52. Like that you have to calculate. Asset side also same, 90 divided by 265 into 100, 33.96, 130 divided by 265 into 100, 49.06. We have calculated the percentages. Same method we adopt for 1991. The 1991 total of liability is 350 and total of assets 350. Make it as base. Make it as base and take it 100%. 315, 100%. Right? Now express all these values as a percentage of total assets. So denominator will take 315. Numerator will take 150. So 150 by 315 into 100, 47 point. 50 divided by 315 into 100, 15.87. 40 divided by 315 into 100, 12 point seven zero. Like that you have to calculate for all assets also. 95 divided by 315 into 100. 140 divided by 315 into 100, 44.5. Like this is the complete analysis of common size. After making the analysis, we have to give the interpretation. Now, how to give the interpretation? Concentrate here. Current assets should be compared with current liabilities to give the opinion about short term liquidity position. Here, current liabilities. The current liabilities are last year 11.32 and current year 12.70 of total assets. This is a proportion of sundry credits to total, total liabilities. Similarly, 7.55, 11.11, 13.21, 12.70. These are the proportion of current liabilities to total liabilities. Current assets. The current assets are 1.89 and 3.17. 11.32 and 15.87. By comparing this, what is the conclusion we can make? There is a slight increase in current asset and current liability. Short term liquid deposition is quite good. The short term liquidity position is quite good. Secondly, there is no significant increase in fixed assets and long term funds. It means long term for insolvency position is same. Second opinion we have to give regarding fixed assets. The fixed assets you can see 90%, 95%, 130, one, uh, sorry, 33.96%, 30.16, 49.06, 44.44, 3.77, 6.35. Point there is no significant change in fixed assets. Last year 90, current year 95. Similarly, 130, 140, 10, 20, slight increase in fixed assets. Whereas long term funds, we have share capital 140, 150, 40, 50. There is slight increase in long term funds. So there is no much difference in fixed assets and long term funds. The third one is there is a slight increase in reserves and surplus, indicating a small increase in profitability. Third, we have to give the opinion about profitability by observing the reserves and surplus. So reserves and surplus last year 15.09%. Now it has become 15.87%. Slight increase in reserves and surplus indicating a small increase in profitability. Now the overall financial position appears to be satisfactory. Last conclusion. That's it. This is the interpretation for sixth problem. Now seventh one. See the seventh problem. Based on the information provided, comment on the financial position of Ram Limited and Deepak Limited as at 31st March 2017. Previous problem we have made intra firm comparison. Intra firm means within the same firm, one year is compared with another year. 1990 is compared with 1991. This is the intra firm comparison. But now in seventh problem, we are making inter firm comparison. One company is compared with another company. The two companies are the Ram Limited and Deepak Limited. So, particulars Ram Limited, Deepak Limited, equity, share capital, reserves, and surplus. These two will be taken under reserve, shareholders fund. Then, long term loan. This will be taken under non current liabilities. 
Then current liabilities are given non-current assets, non-current investments, current assets. That's all. Simply, we must know the format of making balance sheet. The format which is suitable for analysis is this one. Vertical format. So Ram Limited and Deepak Limited common size balance sheet as on 31st March 2017. Particulars, Ram Limited two columns, amount percentage, Deepak Limited amount percentage. Amounts are given in the problem. Percentage we have to calculate. So equity and liability shareholders fund, share capital, reserves and surplus. These two will come under shareholders fund. Then non-current liability only one item, long term loan. Then current liabilities are directly given. Then total of the liability site. Now asset site, non-current assets, non-current investment and current assets. That's it. All the amounts which are given in the problem I have taken. Balance sheet is tallied. So RAM limited, the total of liability is 25 lakh and total of assets 25 lakh. For Deepak limited, the total of the liability side 26 lakh and total of assets 26 lakh. This is the information given in the problem. Now we have to calculate the percentages. It's a balance sheet. So total assets will be taken as 100%. Total assets and total liabilities. Here 25 lakh rupees is the total of liabilities. 25 lakh rupees is the total of assets. This will take it as 100% for every time in common size balance sheet. Now express all other items as a percentage of total. That means this 25 lakh rupees should be in the denominator. In numerator we'll take this. 12 lakh 50,000 divided by 25 lakh into 100, 50%. 250 divided by 2500 into 100, 10%. 7 lakh 50,000 divided by 25 lakh into 100, 30 percent. 2 lakh 50,000 divided by 25 lakh into 100, 10 percent. Same way for assets. 15 lakh divided by 25 lakh into 100, 60 percent. Lines. So we have calculated the percentages for RAM limited. Similar calculation we have to make for Deepak limited also. Total is 26 lakh. This will be taken as 100 percent. Now denominator is 26 lakh. Numerator is 12 lakh 50,000 divided by 26 lakh into 100. 3 lakh divided by 26 lakh into 100. Same procedure we have to adopt. That's it. This is the end of common size balance sheet. Now we have to give the interpretation. Now, for giving interpretation, first interpretation regarding short term liquidity position by comparing the current assets and current liabilities. See here, RAM limited current assets are 30% and Deepak limited current assets are 30.77% of the total assets. Of the total assets, 30% are current. And for Deepak Limited, 30.77% is the current asset. Now, current liability. Current liability are 10% for RAM Limited and 11.54% of Deepak Limited. You can see slight change. Slight change in current assets and current liability of RAM Limited and Deepak Limited. And the current assets are more than double. Current liability is how much? 2,50,000. Double means 5 lakh. The current asset is more than 5 lakh. That means the current ratio is more than 2 is to 1. Similarly, here you can see 3 lakh. Double of 3 lakh is 6 lakh. We are having 8 lakh. Instead of 6 lakh, we are having 8 lakh. That means current assets are more than, more than double of current liability. So short term liquidity position of both the companies are good. There is not much difference in the proportion of current assets and current liabilities in both the companies. The proportion of CA and CL to the total asset is same for both the companies. Current ratio of both the companies are above standard of 2 is to 1. So short term liquidity position of both the companies are good. Because the current ratio comes to more than 2 is to 1. Second, the non-current assets and long term funds are very similar in both the companies. Now you can see non-current assets 15 lakh 18 lakh proportion it is 60 percent it is 69.23 percent long-term funds long-term funds we have share capital reserves and long term all these amounts are very much similar share capital both the companies are same reserves and surplus 253 lakh long-term load 7 lakh 50 7 lakh 50 not much difference the long-term funds of both the companies are very much similar. Slight difference is there. And fixed assets also not much change. Huh? Non-current investments are there in Ram Limited. No non-current investment in Deepak Limited. That is the point. 
Next one is the reserves and surplus of both the companies are very much similar in both the companies. So the profitability position is same. Now you can give the comment on profitability by comparing reserves. The reserves and surplus 2 lakh 50 thousand 3 lakh. 10% and 11.54%. So if you compare the reserves and surplus almost similar. That means the profitability of both the companies are also same. Last one from the above analysis it appears that the financial position of both the companies are same. Final conclusion. If you want to give the conclusion it will be both the companies have same financial position. Not much difference in financial position in both the companies. That's all. So this is the end of problem number seven. Totally seven problems we have completed. Main problems. And these seven problems we have done on common size income statement and common size balance sheet. Next video we will start the problem on comparative financial statements.